Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ruled Waves 2 as Germany episode number 17. So here we go, right into it now. Uh, we want to finish this fight off and we want to take it to the French. We already have a good thing going on with the, the Dunkirk, probably the most threatening of the French battle cruisers. Already has some damage. The 11 inch guns of the Turville don't bother me too much. First of all, we do have these new, brand spanking new battle cruisers that are probably going to be um, better off, uh, like with the nice shiny new armor that they have they're probably gonna um be deflecting even like the 13 inch shells i don't even think these 11 inch shells are going to penetrate even though we are only using nine inches of belt it's only 11 inches uh, 11 inch guns so so we're sending these guys this guy back in i think that this whole group well i mean we kind of do want this group of destroyers to catch up just to take care of these destroyers and here we go so um it looks like our secondaries are now hitting these Bombarda class. Bombarda. Bombarda. Who knows? And we will continue to try to get the wind advantage against the galley. Yeah, so this is the Turville. That is the 11 inch guns. Whole hit. Nothing penetrated. Turville, the. Oh, yeah, this is good. Two 14 inch shells. And uh, again, still picking on their destroyers, which is. Very good news. And actually, our um, light cruisers have actually rotated over to the destroyers, which is an interesting um, decision. Yeah, I, I tentatively agree with it, which means that probably our destroyers should rotate over to the transports. Well, the only downside of doing that is this is still very much protecting them. So the light cruisers really ought to after a few more hits, let's say, <laughs> rotate back over to the light cruiser. And we are getting full range of fire there. And one of them is not firing on the nice now herself. So we just need to turn a little bit more. Try to get the, all those turrets firing. That should do it. Yeah, so this is what I want these guys to focus on. Is this light cruiser. We have enough destroyers picking on the other destroyers that... Oh, okay, they're actually giving up the ghost here. But they're mostly just going to be giving up the good... Okay, well, this is where... Oh, wow, she actually lost her forward gun. So we've done some good damage. Let's pursue directly. In fact, I'm going to go to line abreast here so that both ships are not blocking each other's line of sight. They did not. They just stayed in formation. Probably gave the order a little bit too late. So we're going to have to come down into the... Um, yeah, so this is tough. Our Yeah, we're just a little bit of a turn and we should be able to get our, secondary, our second turret firing. Okay, that's good. This is what I want. Oh, wait, that's the destroyer. Sometimes it lists CL, sometimes it doesn't for the Carqua. It's not showing that they're destroyers, so I thought it was a light cruiser for a second. Okay, so they're turning back north. Lots of gunfire. Okay, so now we're really closing the range. A little bit scary, even. Yeah, so now we want to turn a little bit more north so we can get, again, our cross deck fire situation going on. Your miss. Destroyers are in good shape. We're actually going to send these last guys over to help out with the light cruisers. Yeah, I think that this is going to be a nice victory. It does seem that way. We're really kicking butt. I apologize about my congestion again. It's, it's not quite gone away, but soon. Alright, this Galilee situation is starting to right itself. Let's turn away so we don't take a torpedo. An errant torpedo. Yeah, did take at least a turret hit, but the overall turn goes to us, I would say. A non-penetrating hit on our turret. Our turrets are very strong at 12 inches. The belt is really where they have the only, I would say, real hope. And right now, we're really giving this Galilee what for. Um, so much so that her 
hull is below the waves. <laughs> she only has three six inch guns. I mean, this is a light, light cruiser. Whoops, that's not who I wanted to turn. These guys. There we go. Much better. So the Henkel took a hit and did not even penetrate. Another near miss. Uh, tough decisions here. We do want to avoid taking too much fire from the battle cruisers, but they are distracted. And here comes this destroyer just lumbering into position. Start taking out all these merchants by himself. Yeah, they are doing a full attack, so light cruisers are going to be prepared here. I think that they these might even be disabled. Wow. So not in good shape. We have the Turville, which is two guns down herself. Boy, these guys are not in good shape. And that is going to mean not just the fact that they, you know, are doing worse. It doesn't just show how bad they're doing. It also is a snowball effect when they take on flooding. They're listing. But just the damage to the ship is going to impact their ability to properly return fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're in pretty good position here because we do have the destroyers coming up from behind as well. Um, I think I'll nose south, try to get out of the battle cruiser's way, and it looks like we're going to have to just full on pursue. So we'll go ahead and do that. Do have this annoying group of destroyers coming right at us, so this is a good time for us to once again execute this maneuver. Uh, there is here the ability to. I think it's here, is it not? Search pattern. I thought we had. Battlefield turn away here now. Huh. I've never experimented with the order of battle stuff, but I think that somebody said you can experiment with the battle turn away from here. Search pattern. That's actually interesting. I've never even used that before. Nonetheless, we're just going to do it our own way. Just drive right through these destroyers, sadly. Probably end up taking a fish here. Okay. Well, we survived that one somehow. So far, no torpedoes, and I have to imagine they haven't been able to guess our trajectories being way over here. I'll go back to line ahead. I don't know why. We'll enable torpedo firing as well, because... Whoops. Yeah, actually, that's probably okay. We basically just want to come back at the Turville. All right, Hans Oak is actually taking damage from... Oh, the galley. Oh, okay. Let's actually put some torpedoes on her just to give her something to think about. No solution. Well, if she, they don't have a solution, probably nobody has a solution. Okay, there we go. I'll have these guys hold torpedo fire after that, though. This is up to the light cruisers to go handle. And we'd rather have these guys using their torpedoes against, of course, the battle cruisers. We are closing in on these guys. Okay, so we have. Kind of two battles I'm going to have to try to keep tabs on here. Oh, yeah, well, the light cruisers are not going to stand much of a chance. Let's not launch at destroyers. <coughs> Excuse me. My, i got to remember I'm recording, for crying out loud. I didn't even realize that we had split these guys off that way and how are you doing are you just you're just slowed so go to cruise speed and just start doing work we have two people in such a, such a position so these destroyers are putting good pressure on those battle cruisers and we can go at angles no reason why we shouldn't Trying to control a bunch of different things here at the same time. That's fine. This is fine. I do want to make sure we take this one out, so I will even pursue that one a little bit more. Nose on. Seems like it'll be very difficult. Whoops. For oh, the battle cruisers to take torpedoes. However, we have these uh, more or less right where we want them. Let's go ahead and close the trap. Spring the trap, I should say, on them. Um, yeah, this is next. So this is not good. We don't want these guys 
being lost this far into the action. Done so well. Huh. All right, we'll just pull up north. I'll allow torpedo firing. Wackenheim near miss. Yeah, well, these guys might be interested in firing as well. I think that just putting a few torpedoes in their way is going to be good. They're both going down, I'm pretty sure, but how's this pursuit going? Another hit. She is ah, 30 knots, though. We, we actually have to try to keep up with her because at 30 knots, she could really pull away. Yeah, we might even go down to 20 just to just continuously try to preserve those. Turville being the one we're picking on right now. Some good torpedoes at the Dunkirk just to force her to maneuver. And, you know, still, <clears throat> excuse me, still picking everything else apart. Getting a weird vibration. Is that my throat? Ugh, you get over there. Ah, uh, Turville's dead in the water. Okay, well this is obviously a good time to be launching at her. We'll go in to make our run. Or what that is. I wonder if it's only in my head. I'm going crazy. Okay, so we should be unobstructed at the uh, the Dunkirk. Just taking a lot of damage. We want to focus our fire on the on the Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah, we are okay. So that's probably it. We're now putting our light cruisers. Oh my God, our light cruisers! Where do they go? Where are they going? Um, having some issues here, temporarily. <laughs> okay, well that puts that one down. They didn't have their torpedoes firing, that's why they didn't engage the Turville. Oh god, that's a lot, that's very close. <laughs> it's not as close as I wanted to get to that Galilee. It worked out, but... Okay, there's the Turville getting hit by torpedoes. Uh, you guys wanted to come back this way. That's what I was trying to tell you to do. So those guys are all dead. It's like herding cats trying to keep everyone going. Uh, yes. Detach her. I'm going to say no because I don't want the Quicksilver to do this. Uh, I want you... Are you flooding? That's why I ask. No, you're doing okay. Let's take you down to cruise. And obviously we don't have any ports nearby, so what we're going to do is just... I feel like I'm getting some vibration here somewhere. Uh, just going to have them, to, the Quicksilver, just sail slowly away. And we don't have many light cruisers left that we have to deal with here. I mean, uh, merchant ships left to deal with. So we'll just get everyone else to just kind of slowly meander. Yeah, I want this light cruiser to actually take out the destroyers. This is this is uh, would be a great thing if they could do. We'll probably run out of ammunition eventually, but uh, hopefully doing a lot of damage to the destroyers. Oh, there's, wow, one merchant ship is trying to escape over here. Can't figure out where this is coming from. It's Maybe it's in my head. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know how to proceed. Okay, all the main ships are down now. It's just destroyers left, which is still, uh, you know, a target of opportunity. More destroyers we can sink now, the less we have to sink later. So all groups just converge in that direction. Do have a merchant ship here we want to take down? This is a nice line of destroyers. Let's use our destroyers. Get these guys down to 20, even though it's a little bit slow. Almost out of main ammo, but that's fine. The vibration is now gone, by the way. What do we 
we doing? Launch the torpedoes. Yes. Detach her. That's fine. Wow, that's a lot of torpedoes. We didn't need to launch all... Okay, well, whatever. I mean, we're not going to hold on to them anyway. Oh, vibration's back. Damn it. Well, I'm not sure that was entirely necessary. So now we want to just slow everyone down to cruise and slide... Like, slide... Shift south, maybe. We'll go south out of here. I'm just going to keep the light cruiser around at 20. Everyone else is just going to head south. You guys maybe stay, stick around as well because you're in pretty good shape. Maybe you guys stick around as well. Anybody who's not too damaged, we have one that's damaged here. No, that's fine. We have one who's really damaged, the C's neck, so she's going to be detached. Take her down to 10 knots, or even 8 knots. Let's just be very conservative with the, the wounded ones. I even think that there's another one we have to detach here, the Copenhagen. They didn't uh, mention any flooding. Nonetheless, I think we should be a little conservative. Okay, Henkel, right into the... Okay, yes, go ahead then. Same thing, just slowly, slowly move out. And these guys are still actually in great shape, so despite the fact that Battlecruiser's probably not the ideal ship to pursue destroyers, it's uh, what we have available that's still working right now. So, we'll do it. Yes. They all say yes to all. At this point, I'm, fine. I'm okay with it. I don't want them doing this flank speed stuff, but they are. <laughs> what am I going to do about it? The micromanagement would be too extreme to try to, like, actually not do that. Well, I guess the battle's pretty much over. We're not having an easy time hitting these ships. We'll take out this last merchant, obviously, but... Poor guy, just... <laughs> we didn't even really intentionally go after him, just happened to be in our way when we were pursuing the destroyers. All right, we're going to call off the pursuit of the destroyers. We'll come back. Everyone to cruise. The cruise. Let these guys really take down the speed as well. Good. And hopefully nobody's flooding us. Uh, somebody decided to ship. Who? Oh, are the destroyers coming back? Wait, who the hell is that? Yeah, I think it's them. It's moving kind of slow. Well, it might be something we can just finish off very briefly. I think so. Ah, some more stuff here. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> And one more. Let's go down to cruise. Even down to 14. Call this one off. The Henkel can do it by herself, I assume. She has at least one gun firing still. Yeah, she doesn't have too much ammo, but she has enough. But I think she can get this done. There we go. Even like one hit, I'm sure, here and there is going to be enough to... There it is. It's probably going to do her. All right, so go down to cruise since you're reattaching. Oh, you're actually <laughs> going to pick up survivors just that quickly. We sink them and then we immediately go into the water after them. All right, so we didn't lose any ships. They lost two battle cruisers, one light cruiser, three destroyers. And yeah, and I'm crazy, but I'm still hearing some kind of vibration. Enough, it's like, the, it's like the distracting. Uh, the microphone has pretty good insulation, so you guys probably aren't picking it up, but it's here, I tell you. It's here. I don't know what it is. Very good victory. Two Game 2 Prestige, not even stuff we really really care about. So we're going to blockade them, that's right. So this might be a very, very quick war. Um, 
we are probably not going to be able to invade unless... All right, I didn't even think about this, but this might be a good time to put this back up to high. If we could get one invasion to get up to 350, I suppose that should be enough. We can't invade yet, but... That's the target of opportunity we're looking at. It's maybe taking some... Uh, maybe getting having some action against them in the West African coastline. Otherwise, we can kind of plot what we want to take in a war. Uh, like, this is a little... Look at when the war event actually fires, you can't look at the map and ask for, like, a moment to discuss with yourself or to consider what territory to take. Iceland, I think, would be a great one because it'll be fun to control... Like, from a... Not from uh, a game point, but just from a role-playing standpoint, this would give us a lot of power over Great Britain. They've kind of penned us in, but then if we have this, you know, maybe this is a, a nice resupply point, a nice point of operation. Um, aside from that, we could take out, we could take Southeast, Old, Southeast Asia holdings. I think that Kuang Ju Wan would be a fantastic choice. It gives us striking distance to two other things. I don't think we really need any of these New Caledonia or New Hebrides, but Madagascar, not really. A t I, I think, okay, I think we would go with Iceland and Kuang Juwan. Okay, let's just keep it in mind for ourselves. Okay, peace negotiations founder. Uh, we had some problems. <laughs> Interesting picture. Have delayed the development of our new float plane. Okay, our submarine has sunk another... Ah, we lost a destroyer. Ah, it's hit a mine. Okay, good. Well, we need to get the mine sweeping going as well. Six enemy merchants sunk, three of ours. We're still winning this game. Well, not really. Where are they waiting? Raiding West Africa, Indian. A fleet battle. We'll accept the decline. Battleship engagement, we accept, they decline. Fleet battle, we accept, they decline. Well, the victory points are just skyrocketing, which means we're probably due for a white piece, but fingers crossed that <laughs> our diplomats don't fail us this time. I feel like there's something more I should be doing, but I, I, I don't think there is. I really think we should just be hitting end turn until the French collapse. And who knows how much the submarines have done. They've done something. So it's been nice to have that. Uh, yeah, and then as soon as we have the money, which might not be too much longer, Angola. Oh, wow. Awesome. Our first battlecruiser is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we have anti air Oh, okay. The naval guns just keep on coming. It's crazy. Okay, um, we sank eight merchants, lost nine submarines. My goodness, that's a lot. Still, it's good pressure. We'll keep accepting these fleet battles, these cruiser battles, these anything battles, convoy attack. We have, well, I don't know what's going to go on here. i got to blow my nose real fast, so I'm going to have to mute momentarily. Okay, well, that's done. Uh, if it's true they have an armored, mer an AMC and an armored cruiser in this area, that's bad for us. These are our older light cruisers, the ones that can easily take flash fire. We'll see what kind of armored cruiser we're dealing with. I guess we could probably like preemptively just look and see what they have. No, it's not no, no, the Deputy Trois. Okay, we could actually, no, that's... It's pretty thick armor, although we're using quality one six inch guns, so we'll have to see what, what, what we can penetrate. Squad max. These are slower, so we might just have to get into it. Just gonna start launching torpedoes. Because we're bound to hit something, right? <laughs> Yeah, just like that. Yep. 
Bound to hit something. If we're extra lucky, we'll hit the... Okay, this is a pop out class. Six inch gun, four six inch guns. Interesting, we actually outgun her. Wait, how is, this is illegal. You see four six inch guns and you're like, we can take that. You see seven six inch guns per side. You're not as confident. Twenty one knots, so we can elude her. Let's make our speed only twenty knots then. Do we have any restrictions on twenty six? Okay, that's more than we can do anyway. Good, some good initial barrages here. I mainly want to sink these destroyers because those are strategic ships, obviously. And what I mean by that is, those losses will be represented on the strategic map. Unfortunately, we're taking a lot of damage from her. I don't know if we'll be able to get away. This is very bad. All right, tell me what are you going to penetrate? So at 5,000 yards, you will penetrate 6, 000, or 6 inches of belt, which means if we get very close, we can penetrate. I don't... Yeah, I don't understand that design, first of all. But I think we're just going to smoke out. I mean, look, we're in good shape. Let's just leave, essentially. Yep, that's what we think of you. We're out. And once we get beyond her range, so now or so, we can kind of skirt around the edge and try to come at it from a different angle. Convoy ships were looting maybe like this way. Probably the armored cruiser. Yep, got him. We're back on him. Okay, that might be the. Yeah, shoot. Did not wait long enough. Hopefully, those little endurance tests for her are wearing out her engines. So I'd like to come at it from the south. Let's see if we can sneak all the way around. And we will encourage torpedo launching as well. Not that it matters too much, but just in case. And back up to 20. Lost them. Huh. How they can't have disappeared. Could I have swam all the way around them? It's possible. Wow. They just, well, we just, I don't know what happened, but. That's fine, so we didn't, it ends up being a major victory, but hey, it's not a major loss. That sounds weird, but we didn't lose any ships, which is what I was most worried about. So yeah, if we end up getting these fights in Southeast Asia, or was that the South Pacific? I don't even know. We're just going to try to live, survive them without having our ships being taken into... Okay, that was in the Caribbean. So we are actually short on tonnage now. Let's send another Mosul over to help out with the Caribbean. Let's get this in the view where you can see it. Yeah, we'll just have to activate somebody on foreign stations real fast. Let's get somebody raiding as well. Maybe you can be a raider. You can pretend to be foreign stations just for a month. Yeah. Okay, superimposed guns on... Everybody gets superimposed. It was so funny last episode when we got superimposed on light cruisers before we got it on anything. <laughs> yeah, we should probably start... I know I skipped through a few of those, but... Right on enemy shipping. I don't like this. I'll decline that. Okay, so let's get this guy back to... Actually, I'm going to put him on active fleet, but even... I think I'll put him on raiding. 
So we're blockading them. I think the point situation is really dire for them. They're way behind. 307 to 145 now. We're almost double them. We only need 10%. We don't need 100%. We have 100%. So we'll start putting more ships on raiding. Obviously, raiding is much, much less effective when you're already blockading them. There's very few ships getting in already. Um, but we'll still put some on. Actually, I probably should put some on trade protection. Let's do that instead of raiding. Let's put them on trade protection. That would be a much better thing to do, I think. Wow, okay, so we have directors on light cruisers now. And dual purpose! Okay, this is interesting. And I keep forgetting to buy stuff, but yes, we'll take a torpedo bomber. Okay, it's ready for service. Let's go... Accept. Ah, okay, so we'll be doing this. Coastal raid with our battle cruisers. Awesome. It's fantastic. Just became morning... So this is this is good. Let's go up to 18. Maybe even 20. Let's cruise in on in style. Let's patrol the perimeter as well. Could have there could be some merchant ships over here. Oh, speaking of which. Let's get you guys to be support. Line ahead. Actually, I'm going to have these guys hold fire. Don't even waste your ammunition. Don't waste your torpedoes. We'll just buzz by and kill this thing, and then we'll go be on our merry way. I hope that's enough to zinc her. She's dead in the water. We can find out. Three. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, good. Moving on. Alright, squad max. This is not what we... Uh, this is actually something combat oriented. Probably battle cruisers. We won the first one so handily, but... We can't be confident in the same success. Just want to try to get the wind advantage. Okay, we have identified one of them. Okay, this is this is quite quite a different story. Twelve inches of belt. Now I don't really know how this works. Actually, I don't know how the gun data gives you. Is this against our own armor? Against our current armor? Against their armor? I have no idea. Probably it's against either our current armor. Or, I mean, our ship's armor or our current armor, as in the German current technology. In any case, to penetrate 12 inches, we have to be at less than 17,000. Wow, that's actually pretty far away. What's their difference distance right now? Further than that, that's for sure. What are they at, like 20,000? Maybe, maybe a little bit less? Oh, you're not officially engaging them yet. Because I haven't activated your guns. Okay, well, let's let's solve that. <laughs> and now what are we what are we looking at? Deliberate fire. Seventeen thousand five hundred, yeah. So we just need to close the range slightly, which they already want to do. And we should be engaging for actually hitting them. Uh, and then do cane. What is that? Very, very, very weird configuration, but a very dangerous one. In fact, we'd want to kind of focus on the Duquesne, actually, because she's going to be a lot easier to sink, and she doesn't... I mean, she's not as threatening. I mean, the, the rune is not as threatening. Okay, so let's specifically target... Okay, we are, one is each, each one is targeting damage... Points? Huh. Oh, how many hits they've taken. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Well, we took some hits there. A Turville class? Oh, heavens. 
Well, we are outgunned. Okay, Duquesne hit, Rune hit, couple non worry about, don't worry about them hits. Our destroyers are just going right in, so, okay, squad max, they've made their decision. We'll go ahead and just support it at this point. Give me control. The flag signal is being misinterpreted. Very seems very strange in this situation, considering. <laughs> Not a lot of different fleets you'd have to manage. So we'll be going after the Duquesne, I guess, with our torpedoes. I assume we'll be launching. <laughs> I don't know why they just decided to let us get this close. Right, let's see what happens. We sank another ship. Who did we sink? I have no idea. Does it mean that we sank one of ours, perhaps? That is a lot of torpedoes. Show me the money. No. No luck. No dice. Let's just go ahead and get out of there. We are at least isolating the Turville. This is kind of a good situation. Very brave torpedo run by our destroyers. It's really going to pay off in the end. I think that we're going to be able to sink the Turville just mano a mano. <laughs> since we've forced the other battlecruisers to disengage. And then the rest of the destroyers just pull off whenever they can. We have a few torpedoes left up. Especially the Seas Necked. Land Knight. Sea Knight, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's something we can, uh, you know, take with us. Is basically, kill this Turville, torpedo it for good measure, and then uh, disengage. Which I think is what we'll do. Krickenbacher just took another hit. Down to 23 knots. But we're going to... What are you doing? Okay. she. I don't know what she's doing, but... We'll detach her. She probably is just a goner. Eh, she's not taking any flooding. Okay, if you can get out of here, save yourself, essentially. These little battlefield maneuvers. Oh, God, she turned right back into it. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Amazing. Okay, good. So this is probably a sinking ship. Going to deploy smoke and begin our retreat as fast as possible. So everyone deploy, pops your, pop your smoke and get out of here. In fact, what we'll even do if we can is try to, yeah, no, we want to disengage with the battle cruisers as well. Oh, the long distance shot. Oh, it looked like it hit, but it didn't. And this Duquesne is kind of crazy. These are destroyers with, okay, zero torpedoes. Two torpedoes. All right, Bockenheim, step on up to the plate. You are the you are the class name. Show your leadership qualities here. Let's hold fire until I get a really good solution. And she just took a hit. How's she doing? She can probably take one more hit. Alright. I think now's the time. Oh my gosh. Oh! One of them, it was a dud. It must have been a dud. You know, I'm not even sure if we have to worry about this. Oh, the rune is one I'm worried about, yes. But I was gonna say, you know, uh, we just, okay, let's angle a little bit so that at least one of our guns can fire. Wachenheim, by the way, I'm very sad to say I don't think she's gonna make it. We're just going to try to get the rest of them out of there. And let her uh, hopefully absorb as many shells as possible, as we can start to see is happening now. So we do have one gun firing. This is the advantage of this cross-deck fire, is you have this bizarre turret configuration. With zero torpedoes, you're going to go, but you guys have two torpedoes, so I actually want 
you to detach. You have no torpedoes. So go down to 20 and just start. I'm just going to try to save these ships. You are going to move up. You actually are still capable at full speed, so we might need to utilize that. Okay, this is a 1 versus 2. We're going to fight it. We have the wind. We have all of our guns. Oh, wow. We did not land that hit. Okay, you are holding torpedo fire until the very last second. And it's not starting off well. 40 minutes. Gotta call this too close. Not, still not hitting. Oh, oh, then it happened. Okay, no, no, no. Actually, this is only one good hit and some 6-inch guns, which is not as important. Alright, Sea Knight. Prove what you're worth here. These guys out of here as fast as possible. We can save three of our five destroyers at least. Let's make our run. Season Knight's uh, objective, pass through and then just saunter off to the north. All right, here she goes. Okay, they're turning. Oh my god, it went through both of them. Oh! I aimed at the front one knowing they would probably turn and then hoping that that would lead to... Well, I was hoping that it would lead to them, you know, not doing exactly this and missing both. I was hoping I'd get one of them. It did not work out that way. We are out of torpedoes. The Sea Knight has done her job valiantly, though. She can return. I mean, she can head off to port knowing she's done well for herself few hits here. I think we'll run this at speed because we are essentially just going to try to pull away from them. And I think we can eventually pull away from them. So get everyone else down to cruise just in case they are having any flooding whatsoever. And a nice run by the season night, by the way. Down to 20. How's our flooding? Do we have any? No funding. Okay, good. I think we're pretty much okay. So we're going to call this a mission accomplished and a victory even, probably. We did sink a battle cruiser, right? Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh my gosh. Forgot about that. There's one less French battleship, battle cruiser, patrolling the waters for next time. It'll be an even fight, which I'm always happy to hear. So hopefully we don't have any flooding, laying smoke. That's fine. I'm okay with laying smoke. Terrible weather. We'll pull away. One less destroyer returning than left on the mission, but uh, a mission accomplished anyway. So one battle cruiser and two transports of some kind, but still a major victory taking out that battle cruiser. We'll, we'll definitely exchange one of our... These are actually pretty old destroyers as well. As I remember, these are... Uh, 900 tons. Yeah, they're very light. 900 tons for whatever theirs was worth worth it absolutely so another victory they actually gained a surprising amount of victory points for that but still f uh, four to one or so and we'll wrap this episode up here hopefully next episode i won't be so stiffly stuffly whatever sniffly and uh i'll gonna figure out what's what this vibration is i keep hearing but until then thanks for watching and take care